Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. This video is not the usual type of content that we are doing on this channel, but well, it concerns Gregor Mendel and I thought it is interesting, so here we go. So the situation is that they have found an extra and unexpected person in Gregor Johann Mendel's grave. Well, this video is just a summary, but at the end of the presentation, I will give you the link to a much more detailed story of the first-hand accounts of the people who actually did the job of the exhumation of the grave and of the bodies. So how it came to this? So there, the year 2022 was the year of 200th birthday of Gregor Mendel, and for this reason, there were many activities. And one of the activities was also that they have exhumed the body of Johann Gregor Mendel and also basically sequenced uh, his DNA. But yeah, so basically get his DNA, they needed to get the body out. And this was, of course, done with the full knowledge and approval of the order to which uh, Mendel belonged and was done by a professional team. And basically the outcome of this work is summarized in this video, and I will give you the link for the full and detailed uh, presentation. Also, just a fair bit of warnings for this video. Well, this video will include some images that some of you might find disturbing. So these are the photos of the exhumed bodies. So if you don't are not fine with this type of uh, content or images, then uh, well, better to shut down this video right now. But before you leave, I still would like to let you know that this whole project, including the many activities that we have done during the year, including the reconstruction of the Gregor Mendel's greenhouse or well, a new greenhouse and the very same place where Gregor Mendel's greenhouse was located, was supported by the Interreg projects, Gregor Johann Mendel's legacy to science, culture and humanity. So many thanks to them for their support and of course to the European Union as well. So what is our basic situation? It is a very customary situation to bury the bodies, well, in the ground in Czech Republic, but also in many other places in the world. And also in order to spare some place uh, and in the cemeteries, basically the same grave is reused for co consecutive times, sometimes multiple times and multiple bodies are buried at the same spot. This has happened also to the place or at the place where Mendel is buried. So basically, Gregor Mendel died in 1884. And well, this is basically, you see the tombstone. And afterwards, it, the grave was reused in 1906 with uh, Aloysius Slovak was buried. Then 1920. Nine, Gregor Yoko, and then in 1945, Ambrosius Drabek. All of them members of the Augustinian order. So what would be our expectation? Uh, obviously, the person who died the first is at the bottom of the grave, and then the other burials are happening above this person. So this would be basically the situation that we would expect. Obviously, well, the first grave or the first coffin is not so close to the ground level, but this is just kind of the visualization of the order of the coffins. So what happened is that basically the team of professionals exhumed the bodies and they wanted to get to the body of Gregor, Gregor Johann Mendel. They went on and, of course, the first coffin they found was belonging to Ambrosius Trabek. And here is uh, well, some photo documentation. And also you see a small photo of a person doing the exhumation itself. This is very much as expected. Well, you could ask, where is the coffin? Well, the coffin was wooden and it was already decomposed. So this is a very expected situation. So we have a check mark. Well, the second body was also found just below the first one and belonging to Gregorius Sjokl, which is kind of as expected. But here, if you have an eagle eye, 
you could already see that something is off. Uh, well, the body is in a well in a strange uh, position, and also here, this one, what you see is a metal coffin. The expectation was, as, as far as I understand, that uh, well, Mendel in a metal coffin and all the other ones in a wooden coffin. So this uh, metal coffin was already unexpected. So as you will see in the full video, the research team has thought that they already found the coffin of Gregor Mendel, that, but this was not the case, but more about it a bit later. As for Gregorius Yoko, we have the body at the expected spot. Now the third thing, so this is the third coffin, and so this should have been Aloysius Slovak, but the thing is that, so this was the coffin that they found. So as I mentioned, they thought that this is already Mendel's coffin, but this was not the case because in this metal coffin, there were actually two people. So there was one body uh, or well, somebody in, in uh, this uh, lying position. And basically there was the other body or basically the remains from the other body within the coffin itself. Now, this uh, person was quite uh, interesting because it was dressed in a full religious regalia. So there is a, apparently it was a priest or somebody who had a kind of a higher ranking in the Augustinian order, which was quite strange because except Mendel, this was not uh, not expected to be to be found. And then especially two people in one coffin is super unexpected situation. Also, the items that were found in this coffin were well, unexpected because there were kind of these robes or crosses that are hinting towards a higher ranking person. So these are the more close-ups to the items. And especially this cross is quite uh, interesting because this is, is kind of something that is worn by higher ranking church officials or higher ranking priests. And actually Mendel had also such a, such a cross. Well, this was apparently not Mendel's uh, well, this cross because his in, is in the museum. So this is what was somebody else. So this plus one person or basically these two people in this metal coffin were an unexpected found by the people doing the exhumation of the bodies. So here, definitely, we have uh, something which was off. And finally, they found also the well, expected uh, metal coffin of uh, Gregor Mendel. But here, there was also a technical difficulty after Mendel was buried. So there was a monument built at the, at the same spot. The foundations of this monument were somehow landing on Mendel's coffin. So this is how it looked like. This was quite a technically difficult situation, but the team of experts has uh, done this work in an expert way, and they extracted the coffin itself along with the body. So this is already uh, Mendel's uh, earthly remains, which were then transported to the morgue and then well, further studied and later on also, well, a bunch of measurements done. And also, to my knowledge, a whole genome sequencing was also done with his DNA. So here we have basically the final goal was a success. And uh, the mental's body was found and DNA extracted and sequenced. Now, there is still a question, who is the unexpected person in the grave? Based on the metal coffin and the religious regalia, the person must have been a high-ranking member of the order, or, well, at least not an ordinary monk. Well, the people doing this research and this work have, have thought about the identity of this person, and most likely this uh, person with this uh, metal coffin that was directly above Mendel's was uh, the previous about before Mendel with the name Cyril Nap. There is a, a bit of a problem with the placing of the coffin, however, because, uh, well, Cyril Nap died before Mendel. So as I told at the beginning, whoever dies first, the coffin is on the bottom or, or, or below 
the the other peoples who were dying afterwards. So how come Cyril Nap's coffin is above Mendel's? Now, what has most likely happened is, well, that Cyril Nap was buried somewhere else, but that place was somehow either closed or something happened so that the body of Cyril Nap also needed to be relocated. So they did that and they buried uh, Cyril Nap coffin at the same grave as Gregor Mendel's, but they somehow, some way, forgot to update the tombstone. So this is how we ended up with this uh, situation and frankly, a quite interesting outcome for this whole search and for this whole work. As I mentioned, this is just a quick summary of the great amount of work that was done by the colleagues uh, from the Czech Republic. Fortunately, uh, there is a full video of about, I don't know, three, four hours. That is from the Mendel Days 2021, and it is on the YouTube channel of the Masaryk University. There, uh, people give the presentations and first-hand accounts about how, you know, how the exhumation went and uh, with a lot more information, with a lot more details. So here is the video link you see in the screen, but of course you cannot click on the screen. So also I put it down in the description below. Now this video is quite long. So there, if you scroll there down there, there are the key moments of the video. So you can actually go through and see the parts that uh, interest you. So there is basically the person talking about the whole project, about the exhumation that is quite interesting how such thing goes. Also, there is a person talking about the items that were found in Mendel's grave and also other graves. And then in detail, presentations about the locations of the bodies and all these uh, riddles around the unexpected body that was found in the same grave. And I believe there are also some first results for the measurements and analysis of uh, Gregor Mendel's remains. So, as I said, the video for this full story is below, so I just encourage you to visit it. And once more, a great thanks to the Interreg Project Austria Czech Republic with the ATCZ 278 Mendel's legacy to science, culture, and humanity. The year is ending, and that means that also this project is coming to an end. And I am happy to say that to a successful end. We have, uh, to my knowledge, finished everything that we promised. And also, which is the main outcome, is basically the greenhouse, or a new greenhouse, what you see on the picture, is constructed on the same exact spot as the old greenhouse of Gregor Mendel. This place, along with the surrounding Mendel's Museum and all the other facilities in Brno, might and will serve as a great meeting place on the actual place where the entire field of genetics was established. So if you have the opportunity, I really encourage you to visit it. For this video, we came to an end. As always, I was happy that you were here. I thank you for your time you spent on this video. I thank you for your interest and I wish you a really nice day.